Good afternoon. I am your teacher, Ginella Blaza of Woodrus International School. Today, in your business studies, we will learn about price elasticity of demand. Let us discuss first what is demand. It says here, demand is the quantity of goods and services consumers are willing and able to buy. Let's think about it. What would you do if the price of cinema ticket increased by 10%? You might still go to the cinema, but not as often. Suppose the only safe drinking water in your country has to be bought in bottles. What would you do if the price of bottled water increased by 10%? You need water to survive, so you will probably continue to buy bottled water, although you must try to reduce how much by taking greater care of over how you use it. In both cases, the demand for the good and service will fall as a result of an increase in its price. However, the demand for cinema tickets will almost certainly fall by a greater amount than the demand of bottled water. Here is an illustration of the relationship between price and demand. If the price increases, there will be a decrease on demand. Or, if the price decreases, there will be an increase on demand. What is elasticity? Elasticity is the percentage change in the quantity demanded to the percentage change in price. How is it? There are factors that affect elasticity. We have necessity or luxury, or simply wants versus needs. We have also habits, consumer income. Do you meet the price based on your income? Availability of substitutes Brand loyalty And frequency of purchase Let's combine them together. What is price elasticity of demand means? It is the degree of responsiveness of quantity demanded of a commodity due to change in price, other things remaining the same. The price of elasticity of demand is the percentage change in quantity demanded due to certain percentage change in price. Let's apply the formula in getting the price elasticity of demand. We have also the so-called price and elastic demand. Products that are not very responsive to changes in their price have price and elastic demand. This means that the percentage change in demand will be lower than the percentage change in price. For products that are more responsive to changes in their price, have price elastic demand. This means that the percentage change in demand is bigger than the percentage change in price. Take note of the difference of the two. For inelastic, that is lesser. And then for price elastic, that is bigger than the percentage change in price. Price elasticity of demand can be expressed as the percentage change in quantity demanded over the percentage change in price. Let us take this example. Suppose that a soft drink company calculates that the demand for a bottle of its soda increased from 100 to 110 after the price is cut from $2 to $1.50. Let us find the price elasticity of demand. Applying the formula, let us substitute 
the variables. P is equal to the initial price, which is $2. For the initial quantity demanded is 100. For the change in price, we will get the difference of the original price and the new price. $2 minus 1.50 is equal to 0.5. And for the change in quantity demanded, we will subtract the initial quantity demanded, which is 100, to the new quantity demanded, which is 110. So, 110 minus 100, change in quantity demanded is equal to 10. Now let's have the solution. From this formula, 10 over 0 0.5 times 2 over 100. 10 times 2 is equal to 20. And 0 0.5 times 100 is equal to 50. 20 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.4. That is the price elastic demand. But since the result is less than 1, it is considered as inelastic demand. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching.